Welcome to another edition of The Daily. I'm Samantha Eric here with Greg Lawless. And before we jump into the real stuff, we're going to just touch on last night's EA FIFA 14 launch party that was here in New York. Tim Cahill playing against Drake. Who did you have? Anyone? I, I didn't really have anyone, but I'm always going to go with the soccer player. So I'm going to go with Tim Cahill right, in this well, one. And of course... You were right. Victory. Tim Victory. Cahill winning, actually playing as himself, scored yeah. the game winner header. Of course. It had to be a header if it's Tim Cahill. He does, he does get the header. It was late. It was in added time. It was probably around you know midnight by then, but he does get the goal and the victory over Drake. Drake, by the way, was playing with Real Madrid. Uh, Tim Cahill, of course, playing with the New York Red Bulls. So uh, that's one win for the Red Bulls and one loss for Real Madrid. You can catch complete coverage of last night's FIFA 14 launch event over at our friends at Kick TV. Be sure to check it out. Well, enough with the virtual games. Let's move back on to the real games on the pitch, Greg. Tonight, CONCACAF Champions League is back. Montreal Impact hosting CD Heredia in a must-win game for the Impact. Yeah, this is their final group stage game. And right now, because they have... Uh, three points from their first three games. Heredia sitting on six points. So Montreal need to get a victory. They re really need to shut them out and score a bunch of goals. That means that I expect Montreal to go with all their big guns. You have to think that uh, Marco Di Vaio will be out there. I think that you're going to see some of their other guys. You know, Felipe will be out there. Patrice Bernier. If they have any chance of getting through, they have to get a victory here. Then they have to hope that San Jose will beat Heredia in the final group stage game for this group a little bit later on. So Montreal coming off those two home losses, though. So it's not like it's Fortress Stad Saputo up there. So they're going to have to do something a little bit different. And I, I think probably it's right now it's kind of a mental game they need to get back to what they do really well which is to defend well and then go on the counter-attack looking for DeVaio who's running on, off of that off sideline Heredia is going to pack it in that's going to make it really hard for Montreal so who's the key that can unlock that defense well DeVaio is leading MLS in goal scoring at this point so I would say he would be the key to unlocking that most defense. people would say that as well well, you can catch that game tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern on Sportsnet. It's Tuesday, so it's time to look at Castrol's top weekly performers. And this week, for week 30, two forwards coming in at top. Yeah, sometimes we see uh, goalkeepers up there, but this time two forwards, both of them with two goals on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Giles Barnes from Houston coming in at number one, followed by CJ Sapong for Sporting Kansas City. Then the goalkeeper, Luis Robles from the New York Red Bulls, followed by Bernardo Anor and Chad Marshall, both, both from the Columbus crew. They had a big win over the weekend as well. So uh, a bunch of attackers getting into this mix uh, for this week. For more on the Castrol Index, including the overall rankings, be sure to check out MLSsoccer.com slash Castrol. Well, reports coming out of Houston yesterday that Brian Ching of the Houston Dynamo is set to retire after 12 seasons. Yeah, the news is that he's going to hang him up, and this is one of the all-time great players, I think, in MLS. Three MLS Cup titles. 82 goals in the regular season. He was the MLS Cup MVP and a Golden Boot winner as well. I mean, this is a guy who's done it all. He also did it for the U.S. national team, scoring uh, double-digit goals there as well. So this is a player I think we're going to miss, someone we're going to look back on whose career was really spanned a, a great time here in MLS. He was the heart and soul, I think, of that Houston Dynamo team in their glory years in the mid aughts uh, when they won those two MLS Cups. So uh, good luck to him, and, and I think we all, all, all owe him a little debt of gratitude for all that he's done at MLS. You can check out MLSsoccer.com or HoustonDynamo.com for more on Ching. And one last thing before we go, Dax McCarty of the New York Red Bulls on Extra Time Radio yesterday, a really fun interview as expected. Yeah, and he's really talking about what's going right for the New York Red Bulls uh, in these last month or so, especially as they have climbed up the standings, now sitting atop the Eastern Conference, getting ready for that big clash on uh, Sunday against Seattle. For the full Dax McCarty interview and Extra Time Radio, be sure to check out MLSsoccer.com slash Extra Time, or you can download it on iTunes. That's all we have for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more.